So is it almost like playing fictional people when you're playing members of the royal family? I think so, yeah. What do you think? I, I felt like it was. I, I, I felt like there was a lot of stuff we had to get right, the voice and the movement <coughs> and things like that. But I felt mm. like the scenes aren't... They're, they're, it's all based on fact, but the scenes are imagined. So I never really felt like I was being her, I suppose. I yeah, when we're sort of not doing impersonations of them. Mm. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's definitely you know, based on true events and it's our interpretation of these people. But you can't help but have a real sort of consciousness about them in your psyche somewhere. Yeah. They're like imprinted into the cultural fabric of us all mm. somehow. So it's <clears throat> so you're very aware, but also it, it's just that fine line, I think, with being really aware of who they are and yeah. getting them right and then also interpreting the story and making it dramatic and exciting. Mm. And it's tricky. Fun to do. Mm. Well, I think we realised we had an amazing um, dialect coach, William... Conica. 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 I can never say his Good name. I'm sorry, William. Um, and he is, he's just incredible, but he's very much about what you've got to work with. I think the idea that you have to try and fit yourself into a particular way of speaking as opposed to getting certain things absolutely right and mm. then meeting halfway um, and kind of um, not doing, like Matt said, an impersonation of it. But it's, it's, a, it's a period thing as well. It's the way they spoke at the time. It's not particularly just about... There's that class and that period, but and also it's become very crystallised the way that they spoke. Not so much you, but yeah, me. yeah. Well, yeah. I guess the nice thing about Philip is that he's kind of the dissident in every way. So he sort of just does what he wants. Well, maybe that's just because I'm a really lazy actor. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> well, the thing is, they've all got a bottom. True. So at some in some state someone's seen it so um and actually i think for the next scene it actually makes i'm going to really argue the case now <laughs> at the time i was just like all right yeah fine maybe but actually sort of seeing it in context i think it does work because i think it's a good thing for the king and him to sort of have that weird moment and then be on the boat and they have that very lovely scene where the king gives him but also neither of those moments were actually scripted neither no, of those moments said no. it, the, the, they Stephen coincide yeah. with the fact that philip um, is known to sleep naked yes. and it's one of those things of whether you go what do you do does it inform in your knowledge of the character and I do think it does I think it makes him more renegade and sexy and exciting and all those sorts of I'll things take all of those words as opposed to me who's wearing slippers <laughs> and, and a full on nighty and like buttoned up to the so it does it, imp it says something very important about the character yeah it's not just your bum no thank you but bare bums, they can, I mean, we're talking about it now, they can be a bit attention grabbing. I mean, look at what happened to Tom Middleton with the night manager. It was like the only thing that p people ended up taking. Did he get his bum out in there? Did he get his bum out? out? Yeah. I don't know that. Were you I ever like that? Either, no. Tom Middleton's bottom. No. I didn't see that, so I don't no. know. Well, I sort of think that's a really interesting point about the whole series is that whatever political problem or social problem or life problem or family problem that you had then, you know, we sort of have now anyway. And I think, I love Harry. I think Harry's amazing. It's great. I kind of want Harry to be king. Oh my God, that is salacious. Oh. You can't say things like that. No, Overthrow William. No, Overthrow no, no. Charles. <laughs> Overthrow Her Majesty. I just really like Harry. I think he's I really got, like you know, Harry. And I really like Margaret. But the point is, if they had been, if the, the, that's the thing about Margaret as well. If she had been given the task of being queen, she wouldn't be as... She, free no. and special as she, as she oh, is. Oh, okay, good. I thought you were going to go the other way then and go, she couldn't do it. Oh, no, no. She would have had to reign <laughs> us. She would have been a different person. And, oh, my God, doesn't she look amazing? Amazing, but so does, so does the Queen, don't you think? Yeah, in a sort of slightly more conservative way. Oh, <laughs> I love you and your choppers. 